Hi, welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris, and today we're looking at setting up paper space. Now, we have model space here. It's where we do all our drawings, and if we do printing, uh, this is where we would print. We'd set up these little uh, paper space, and these are basically uh, paper space units at different scaled, uh, different different sizes, scaled differently. So I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, so if I was to take uh, this particular uh, layout plan here and I pop it into pop into model space you can see uh, it's there and it fits and the reason for that is that the model space and the paper space is scaled correctly so that fits absolutely fine I'm just going to pop another one in and and all will become clear in just a few moments. So if I was printing this particular layout, I'd be bringing it into paper space, uh, set scaled at the same size as the model space, or if I needed to scale it differently, then I would set that up. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So to make it more interesting, I'm going to show you uh, another page, paper uh, page which has been scaled at 1 equals 50 so as you can see we're going down and we can't actually show the drawing on that because if I was to print we're only going to get this uh, you know the, the the front half of the drawing likewise if I went further down let me just pop it in again uh, just copying and pasting you see all of the elements so the paper print the scale is wrong. So in other words, the scale would only be able to print this section of the drawing. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's no point in showing you in the smaller ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, page so that we can see what happens when we upscale it. So if I was to replicate or duplicate, uh, duplicate, it's here. Uh, where was it? It's this one. And if I rename it, first thing you do, and I'm going to do 1 to 200. 1 to, one to 200. And then I have to change the properties here. <clears throat> right, so it's called 1 to 200 metric, that's fine. And I need to change this down to the 1 to 200 and everything else remains the same and I just accept that okay so now what happens is as you can see uh, my drawing is is there's loads of space and the reason there's loads of space is because um, I've changed the scale on the paper page uh, on the print this is ready for printing so if I had a bigger drawing I would keep changing the scale until I manage to fit it all in likewise if it's this this would look silly if I print this off uh, because it's uh, going to be a tiny element in the uh, you know in, in 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 the page so what I would do is get the proper scale for that so uh, one seems to one to 100 seems to work just fine so um, and likewise you know I could I could actually flip it over and have it on a horizontal line but that would mean having to change all the text within the drawing so it's not something I want to do um, yeah so basically here we go model space model space you can put as much as you want in there because you can see you can zoom in or out you can build and build and create and create but when it comes to printing you need to set up these uh, paper pen paper positions, uh, paper pages, so that you can actually uh, uh, print correctly. So we're, we're set up. Uh, this is a, a metric drawing, uh, metric model space, 1 to 100, uh, set to print in A3. So the pages are A3. But uh, as I say, this one works absolutely fine. This one is rescaled. So you don't need, if I print this off now, I can give you an idea, control P. And if I do a print preview, uh, you can see I'm only getting the, that's, that's the drawing. I'm only getting the front half of the drawing, so I certainly wouldn't be printing that. Uh, likewise, if I was to do it in the 200, uh, it's going to look a little silly because it's, it's too much space. So if I was to do a, a view, full preview, 
can see what I you see what I mean. That would look a bit silly. Um, uh, so today is all about you. You should have learned how already how to set up your model space. I just did a video on it, um, so it's right close to this one. If you have a little look, and if you haven't seen it, you really want to look at the model space video setting it up and the paper space. So. <clears throat> as I say, paper space, the default when you click a new one. Well, I, I might as well show you. Let's just, just uh, click on a new page from scratch. Yeah, new page from scratch comes up imperial and it needs to be uh, resized and rescaled. So what we're going to do is going to do this quite quickly now because you can go into each uh, tutorial and learn in more detail. So space units, English to metric switched it over and now I'm going to do page setup page set. this is setting up the model space uh, a3 and we're going to go for ISO a3 and I'm setting the scale at 1 to 100 and that's pretty much the standard in Europe and certainly in the UK so right now I've got a model space that's been set up in uh, metric one to, and the scale at 1 to 100 so if I needed to print something, uh, I need to go to paper space. Now I need to set this up as well. So I'm going to right click, go to properties, and I'm going to call it 1 to 100. And I'm going to go metric, definitely. Then I'm going to scale it 1 to 100. That's okay. So now if I was to, let me just, I think it's still in the memory. I was to throw my drawing in there. Here we go. Uh, this is in the new page. So now if I want to pop that into, if I want to print that, I'll pop it in here again. And whoops, didn't set that up. Didn't set up properly. So let's see what I, what I did wrong. So if we go to properties, we were doing so well there. So what didn't I do? Uh, workspace, yeah, page setup. Didn't set the page setup. That needs to be ISO A3. And then everything changes. So there you go. Um, effectively, you've got a paper space ready to print. So you know how to set up your model space. And now you know how to set up your print space. So if I, uh, for example, had a much larger drawing now, let's assume I created something that was a longer property, uh, I need to set up another page and rescale it. So for example, if I was to duplicate that and call it uh, 200, rename, okay, and it's not simple, not just as simple as that, I'm afraid. If I was to go to properties, change this one, 200. Now you'll see, you'll see how it's changed. So my printing area has become much larger. So if the drawings are bigger, you know, keep changing the scale to get it right for printing. Uh, to, uh, likewise, if the drawing is tiny, if you're just doing a little bathroom or a kitchen or something, you'll change the scale in the other direction. You'll redo it to 50 and so on. So the aim of the tutorial or the aim of this lesson is that uh, you're working in model space, you need to know how to print it. And how you print it is to set up these paper paper pages. And you can set up as many as you want and you can set them up in different sizes. So if I was to just pop out of here briefly, well, completely, you'll see that my standard, uh, my standard setup on model space is I've got 100, I've got 50, I've got 25, 110. And basically what that is for me is I open up a new uh, file, I set it all up uh, and I call it a template. And when I set it up, I create all of these um, pages so that I can, I don't, it means I don't have to keep doing it each time I open up a new file. So I open up, a, I, I get a template file and then I create, uh, set up my page 
as in set it to metric, set it, scale it, set it for printing, and then I come on down here and I set up the page sizes. I'll do always do one and one hundred, and then one fifty, one two five, and one ten, and right the way through. So basically, once this is set up as a template page, I don't have to keep resetting them up for each drawing, depending. And then if I want to print something in a hurry, if I want to print some little thing, uh, I'll just pop it into uh, model space. I'll pop it into print space one and one hundred. I'll see immediately if I need to rescale. So if I need to, instead of rescaling that paper uh, what I'll do is just throw it into another one that's already been scaled to a different size so that's about it uh, it's not rocket science but it's something you need to focus on as soon as you can uh, if you're learning CAD and the relationship between model space and paper space and how to set up model space and of course if you're going to be printing to PDF or to a printer you need to set up uh, your paper space and this is how you do it. If you've got any comments or you've got any queries or if I've left something out or you, you just don't understand, leave a comment. I'll come on back to you. Okay, brilliant. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.